only have four of them, so I'll be doing one side of the hair at a time. So, not so fast, but not bad. And I love how they don't slip because they have this rubber band. So they're really neat. I've never seen anything like this. Um, and then of course my trusty spin style curling iron, which I absolutely love. Um, this one is a smaller size and I love the three quarter uh, wave or the wave that it can make or the curls it can make. Um, so that'll be exciting and I'm just waiting for it to heat up. I just did my makeup and straightened my bangs and I've got a little video on each of those. If you're interested in a simple makeup look, I used airbrush and makeup products, Chanel, Shishido, Shishado, anyway, I'll say everything wrong. Um, and then um, Chanel lipstick in pirate and my nails are in pirate, matchy, matchy, matchy for Halloween. Um, and then I used the L'Oreal cat eye. I did a baby cat eye. So very tiny, just enough to cover when I put my lashes on so there's no gaps. And I did a natural lash by Kiss called Pompadour. And yeah, my curling iron should be ready. So my hair is just washed and dried. And I used Main Magic to protect it. So I just do a squirt. Just a little heat protectant. Um, it says it's a 10 in 1 uh, hair primer. Um, I don't know if it does 10 things. I couldn't count 10 things that it could need to do, but all I need it to do is protect my hair while I'm using curling irons and things. So it's really great and I love the smell. So if anything, it also has a really good spray on it. So I save these bottles and then I put my, um, where is it? My Lola Body solution for when I do vintage styles. And I basically put it in an empty container, half water, half Lola body, lot of body, and then I spray that in my hair so that it holds my curl really well, but it's not so stiff because I have longer hair. I want to have some movement in it. So these have really good sprays and they're great for protecting your hair from heat. So I, this bottle is filled with half Lola body, half water, just to dilute the concentration so it's not so much. And I'm just gonna do a quick spray and it just evenly goes through and it really helps to hold the curls. Um, and I'll show you a couple other techniques to help hold the curls early in the morning and when you're on the go and you just don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna use these metal clips. They're two prong. I love them. They hold hair really well as well. And I'm gonna use those to hold down the sides so that I keep my sides nice and smooth. Let's just make a part. Okay, so I just like to keep this flat and it's right above my ear. Um, just to help so it's not all, because the hairstyle I'm going for is a little bit of a Betty Page inspired vintage wave. So I'm gonna split my hair in two, just like that, so it's easy to work with. Get this out of the way. I'm gonna do one side at a time. We'll see how we do with this video. Okay, so I'm gonna basically curl it in four sections, four or five. And then I'm just gonna curl under and I'm pressing in and it's curling around. Ah, oh, I forgot to put my glove on. It's gonna be a little hot, so hang in. Hang on or hang in there with me. Okay, so let's just give it a second or two. You don't need to curl your hair very long with these curling irons, they're amazing. They're ceramic technology, they're super hot. Um, they just spins your hair around. And then see, it gives you a beep when it's had enough. Look at that curl, it's amazing. So for my vintage styles, I like to, the heat on the hair molds it. So I'm just gonna do this, scrunch it up, and a clip. I'm gonna let it sit. It's not too hot. I'm doing okay without my glove. So I'm gonna take another section of hair. They're about a one inch section, and I'm not going all the way up. I'm just doing my bottom. You could say maybe to my ear. And then I'm curling over the curling iron. And you can see it. You just have to hold it and like grab the hair. And you can see it grabs. The very end wraps around. You don't have to do anything. You can stop spinning unless you love to spin it. 
and then you press the arrow in the opposite direction to release it or you just slide it out. And once again, you can hear the beep. And I'm gonna just unroll it. Look at that curl, it's gorgeous. This curling iron's amazing. And a couple of these little tools like the lot of body cut with water and scrunching it up and clipping it is really gonna give you that kind of wave look, vintage inspired or just even modern. So this one is a little, I split this, my hair is getting a little thinner in the back. So I like to pull it out a little bit away from my head because my hair is all black and then that way I can see what I'm curling, especially when I'm doing these videos. So I'm gonna make sure it grabs the end. And you don't even have to think, it beeps when it's ready if you don't want to um, think about it. And there we go. Oh, my package just fell. So, you can always just grab the hair and physically wind it and curl it once it's hot because it's molding. Don't worry about if these aren't right to your head because the, we want a long, large wave. I do like to keep it kind of contained. Let's get this package. I'm going to use these to define the waves. And I use the, the hair clips to, when I iron, flat iron my bang. Sorry, it's really early in the morning. I'm having problems speaking. <laughs> okay. So this one, as you can see, I kind of fumbled. I didn't like how it didn't grab the end, so I'm going to hold it out and let it grab the hair. Once the end is in, I'm going to roll in just to make life easy. Just because it's a spinning iron doesn't mean you have to spin it constantly. You can roll the iron, you can wrap the hair around it, you can release it, you can just by sliding it out. Once again, you heard the beep. I like to release the hair and with the opposite arrow because I feel it just helped because I have really long hair. So I'm going to wind the hair because this piece is really long and as you can see, it was giving me a couple problems. One, because I can barely see. <laughs> then we're going to clip it. You can see how it's just kind of staggered. We're going to let that set. So it has this lot of body in it. It has the main magic. It has the curls. The heat is molding it. The clips are helping hold it in place. So now I'm going to do the other side. And this is just helping keep this down. Because I like this part a little bit flatter and smoother. And I just wash my hair so there's a lot of body and so it can get a little frizzy. So this just helps it. And at the very end, we'll use some bio silk to, um, or silk drops to uh, smooth out the hair. I also have my pomade. I have it in Savetica and I also have it in the Ion. I love the smell of this. At the very, very end, I use this to get any flyaways. And it's really up to you how much you want to define your curl. So let's get going. This time I'm going to start from the back. Hang on. I was pushing the arrow in the wrong direction, and so that's what's going to happen. It's going to kick the hair out. So I'm pushing the right direction. I'm going to do a nice little roll in. Grab some more hair clips. And you can see it did a nice curl. It's longer, so I have to kind of curl it like that. My hair isn't that long. It's maybe to the center of my back. Okay. Then we'll move on. So I'm showing you how you can also curl your hair starting from the back. I mean, it's totally up to you. It's going to work either way. I just like to smooth this out if you feel any flyaways because you've just washed your hair and dried it. It can be a little bit... So I like to smooth that out. I'm going under. Make sure you click the arrow in the right direction. You'll know because it'll catch the hair and roll it towards you. And you'll get a feel of which way the arrows go intuitively. I've used these curling irons so many times because I love them. So, And of course I make mistakes as you saw. Okay. And then you can hear the beep. So I'm going to release by pressing the button in the opposite direction. I did a nice little curl. Oop. So I'm going to take that and just scrunch it up. 
And my hair has layers in it, so that's why you're seeing one really long and one really short. So I'm just working with it. Which way am I going? Very easy to get confused. Okay, so now I'm going to do two more sections to make my life easy. I know. Alright. So you can physically see which direction the curling iron is going in. So if you just pay attention, your hair won't kink out. But because I'm looking in the video, I can't see it. But when I look down at my face mirror, I can see. And so now it's wrapping around. I'm just going to roll it in a little bit. And you'll soon hear a beep, which lets you know to let go of the curling iron and release your hair. And I just did short little pumps to get that out this time. It's whatever you want. You can see the nice little ringlet it makes. So you want to scrunch that up. I would wear a glove normally, but today I forgot. So for the purpose of this video, I'm doing it a little quicker. And it is an early morning routine to show you how you can do this without any stress and a lot of tools. Okay, I'm gonna smooth out the hair. I'm curling in the wrong direction, I'm curling too high. So I'm gonna go lower. And it's got four pegs that grabs the hair and helps wrap it around. You can see it's around and tuck it in just a little bit. This clip is helping me uh, use it as a marker so I don't go too high. I mean, you can go as high as you want, but today I'm doing a low kind of wave, Betty Page inspired, vintage wave, or call it modern wave, whatever you want. I love them. And my little beep went off. I'm going to scrunch that up and clip it. And that's it. So I like to give it five, ten minutes. Okay, so this got flipped. So I'm just going to readjust it, no big deal. Get it out of my hair. about there, just over the ear, nice and tight, just to help keep the, the hair down. Okay, so we've got some loose hairs. It happens. So I'm going to wind those up. So I am doing five pieces. Oh, that went the opposite way. So you want to press out to your right to get it to curl under. So this curling iron you can't really go wrong with. It's pretty foolproof. As you can see, it's the fool who's using it that goes makes it wrong. So I'm just fixing these pieces. And you can see it did a gorgeous little curl. And then I'm gonna go like that. So I've done five sections on each side. You can make as many or as little as you want. And I'm not gonna worry about these little loose hairs because they're gonna blend in and we're gonna sculpt it. You can turn your curling iron off. There's an off button, let it cool down. I have a mat below me, which allows me to put these down and it's got a little buffer, so it just lies down. Boom, that's it. So now we're gonna let this set. I'm gonna give it like a few minutes while I just touch up, clean up. Patient. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna undo these for the purposes of this video and show you. As you can see, we've got a nice wave pattern. My hair's a little damp. You could take a blow dryer and just kind of dry it really quickly on top. So I'm going to take my wide tooth comb. You can feel the lot of body in it. Just help make it stiff. So I could brush this out and keep going. Because my hair's a little wet, it's a little bit Man unmanageable, manageable. I got a little mark from the clip, the metal clip. These would be better, so I'm going to put this in. One just down here. And I'm grabbing my whole hair. And I'm going to do one this way. And these are non slip, so this is going to be really interesting. So I'm just following the wave pattern, fanning it out, and my hair's a little damp because I didn't leave it that long, I think I left it for a minute. So you can just follow the wave pattern, 
I have no other hairspray but my got to to be so I'm gonna use that and I'm just gonna lightly because this stuff's super rock hard I use it for the wig styling so just do your clips in alternate directions follow your wave pattern and it's really up to you like how big a wave you want if you want a little one super tight and I'm gonna let that sit I'm just giving everything about a minute right now because it's early and I want this to work quickly. I don't want to be spending tons of times on this. And it's going to be a loose style where it's going to have flow and I'm going to be able to move my hands through it because I'm going to have a busy day. So this is definitely not a blanket, but it is the basis of doing those blanket waves where you make them really teased and styled and formed. So this is more of a softer version. Okay and my clips are holding, as you can see. I'll move back a little bit. So I'm gonna take these out. And my mark's gone, yay. And really I should've used this because these are no mark clips. That's what's so great about them and they don't slip out. And as you saw, my metal one did. So once again, these are by Salontac. They are no slip silicone grips. Um, silicone grip never slips out, no mark left, self-locking system, all chemical services, resistant. That's good to know. Uh, for all lengths of hair and easy to apply and remove. And they actually were. I actually really like them. I think I'm probably going to get a second pack so I can do both sides at the same time. Hey, but it is what it is. So, and I'm going to do a little spray. And both the hairspray and the lot of body really hold this. So, I know it's black on black, it's that kind of morning, but you can see just like a nice light wave. It didn't take me very long, I only left it in for like maybe a minute while I did other stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll do a final look at the end. Thank you for joining me again for one of my early morning routines, and like I said, I did a quick baby cat eye, I'll have a video on that, and then a bang straightening video, I'll do that, where I use my no slip grips. Anyway, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some great tips. Like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. It really helps me out. I appreciate the feedback and the comments. And if there's a video you want to see your product reviewed, let me know. And if you're interested in my photography sessions, I'm a glamour photographer. If you didn't know, I do hair, makeup, and many other things that I bring into the sessions to create amazing photos for you, whether it be in a regular setting, in studio, or I do one of my digital artistry pictures. So check me out on yourjewel.com, get more info on the photo sessions, and get a free copy of my magazine, Dirty Glamour Magazine, on my website. You can get download a free digital or watch the interactive, or purchase a print for $7 on MagCloud. It's totally up to you. It's my gift to you, so enjoy. And I'm always looking for new talent for my magazine. I always feature different stories. So if you have a great story, um, if there's a character you want to be, check out the magazine, see what it's about, and shoot me a paragraph on who you are and what you're about. I shoot in Las Vegas, LA. I'm on my way to San Luis Obispo for a major event with Vampire Scarecrow Fangs, private party, and I'm doing shoots around that date, uh, October 26th, 27th. 7th and 28th. I also fly to Vegas and I'm up in Canada every once in a while. So uh, like, share, subscribe, join me and find out more.